how to use the Google platform to communicate, collaborate, and work with your team securely, safely, and without a million versions of everything. Now, we're gonna have a look at using Google Suite, which is now called Google Workspace. So Google Workspace basically is all of the features and functions that you would have on, say, the equivalent of Microsoft Office or Microsoft Suite, um, but it's all done on Google. It's all done on the cloud online, so you can access every single thing you create, every document you work on, uh, from any device, mobiles, iPads, desktops, from anywhere in the world, and anyone that you give access to these documents to can work on the same documents live with you at the same time as you, so that you don't have to create multiple versions of things. So basically, if you are logged into your Google account, up here on the top right-hand side, you will see this little waffle called the Google Apps. And you'll see here, you've got your Google Calendar, Mail, Drive is basically a online storage center where you can store all of your documents and, and work. Docs is Microsoft Word, but for Google, it's Sheets is basically Excel Sheets. Uh, Slides is the same as PowerPoint, but Google's version. Forms uh, is for collecting surveys and sending out, um, you know, collecting data and information. So if you've ever used anything like SurveyMonkey, it's the free version of that and way more amazing than SurveyMonkey. You've got Google Photos. So you know, for instance, if you're taking pics, um, have the Google Photos app on your phone and it automatically syncs all of your photos up to the cloud. Contact lists, and it goes on and on and on. Sites is a bit like having an intranet. Uh, there's so much stuff you can do in here uh, with Google Chats, Hangouts. Um, you can. Oh, there's just there's so many cool things that you can do with Google, and not a lot of people are aware of just how um, amazing Google actually is in terms of all of the the things, features, and functions it can do. So, for example, let's look at a Google Drive. Now, yours might be empty to begin with, but um, just basically like um, any folder on your computer, this is where all of your stuff is basically stored. To get stuff in there, it's really simple. You literally just go and drag and drop like that, and it will upload. So I just dragged and dropped from my folders, and it will take everything over into this place here. Now, if I wanted to share something or work on something with somebody. All I have to do is I can either open it, I'll, I'll open it first just to show you what, what, actually, what else can actually be done here. Um, let's say I want to collaborate with somebody else on this particular document, okay? So um, I really want people to share this with me. So what I can do is go up to the share button on the top right hand side here, click on that, and it gives you a number of different options. Now you can either only allow specific people to be able to access this document. So let's say I want to make Sybil um, be able to access this. Um, do I want her to only be able to view it? Do I want her to be able to view and copy comment on it um, only, leave comments, or do I want her to be able to actually edit the document itself? So first of all, you choose that. You can obviously leave a message there if you want to, so um, that's, uh, that's cool. And, and simply press send when you're happy that you want that particular person to have access. Now, if for any reason I didn't want Sybil to have access to that anymore, um, it, she would show here and I could simply just say remove access and she won't be able to find it or access it at all anymore. Now, another thing is, is because I've set up um, my um, my account with my company, I can actually allow anyone who's listed in my company group to be able to view documents. Or I can go, anyone with the link, that means anyone who's specifically given this link can view it, comment on it, or edit it. So that's another thing that we can do here. So if I just wanted, to, you know, I wasn't particularly protective of this document, um, now I could copy that link and just share it everywhere and anyone on the internet can now access this, which is really, really cool. Um, otherwise, you might just wanna prefer sticking to um, only allowing certain people to have access to it by giving them permission right here. So you say you've got a virtual assistant, pop their email address in there, press done and boom, it will now show up in their Google Drive. So they're gonna be able to view and find this document um, over in their shared with me section um, all of the documents you've given them access to will come up there in their own Google Drive. Now, what's cool is um, your virtual assistant, um, oh, here we go, uh, your virtual assistant um, actually can access this document with you 
at the same time, which is really, really cool. Um, so as it just showed up there, it just said show Sarah Cordina. Now, if I logged into this document from another device, it would show a second Sarah Cordina up here. Um, so it would actually show my image. Now, if Sybil logged in, it would show Sybil's picture up here as well. Uh, if somebody else logged in, their picture, their face would show up here as well. And we'd all be able to work together on this document, um, and it would, uh, you know, it would follow along. You'd be able to see them typing live. Um, you know, you can go in here and um, just the same as Microsoft Word. It all kind of works the same. Uh, but I could quite literally just go in and add a comment here. So um, I could tag someone. I could say, "Hey, Sybil," and tag her. Um, can you do X, Y, Z? Right, and then assign it to Sybil, and then press assign, and now she will receive a notification and will be able to reply to that comment thread here as well. So it's really cool for collaborative working in that sense. So that's what um, you can do on any document. It doesn't just have to be a document. It can be an Excel sheet and forms and things like that. Um, let me just show you again like what forms look like on here so you can have a little nosy and see. You can basically create forms with any types of questions um, that you could possibly think of. There's no limit to the number of questions that you can ask. Um, boom, then people can go and submit um, their information for filling in various kinds of forms with you. Um, there you go. If I want to share an entire folder with somebody, I can right click on this folder and simply um, go to share and the same box will come up there. So again, I can give certain permission to specific people, um, or I can just make the link open to anyone and so on. So there you go, there's lots of really cool things that you can do with the G Suite platform. And I'd highly recommend that this is the platform that you use. Now, um, because it's secure, because it's easy to work with, what you can also do, uh, let's say for instance, you wanted to remove somebody's access. So let me go to find Sybil. Um, anything I've ever shared with Sybil, or Sybil's the owner, for instance, how I can actually go shared with. So I could kind of go like, okay, so I'm the owner, owned by me, um, and it is the it is shared with Sybil, right? I can now go search, and it will bring up all of the documents that I own that um, is shared with Sybil. So I can now go through um, these and remove Sybil's access to all of them um, if she wasn't working with me anymore. So it just, it makes it so much easier for you to be able to control the access of the documents that people have access to and also easily revoke it if you need to as well. So that's a very quick overview. Obviously there's a lot more to, um, to G Suite, now called Google Workspace, than what I've just shown you here, but to give you those basic concepts to allow you to start sharing documentation with your team so that you can start handing over more of your work.